Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Let's Do Something. Today we're going to do a special, um, let's geek it out a little bit. Um, I just ordered a brand new solid state hard drive and also a external hard drive as well. Um, we're going to be installing that and backing windows into it. So uh, stay tuned. Um, we're going to dive into that. This is, again, my current setup. Um, hopefully this will get us up quite a bit. The new solid state is one terabyte. The new external is eight terabytes. Uh, I also have a four terabyte and external as well as um, probably two, two terabytes worth of internal um, in my computer right now uh, between two or three hard drives. Let's go ahead and uh, just jump into it. So here we have the uh, Western Digital's uh, eight terabyte hard drive and the Samsung Evo or Cuvo, um, which mostly compared fine to the Evo uh, for the purposes that I use it for. I'm not an extreme gamer, so I don't really care. Um, definitely will be a huge improvement over my current hard drive, which is not solid state, it's a regular hard disk. So we're going to go ahead, uh, open this up, and plug it in. Alright, guys, this is the new. Uh, Western Digital Elements, also known as the My Book, as it was said online. Um, I only bought it because I already have a My Book right here. This one over here is a four terabyte My Book, um, so it's a quite a, a jump up to the eight terabyte. Uh, what we're going to do first is, we're, though, we're going to um, do a recovery of Windows 10 onto this one since it's blank. I don't have to worry about everything. I do have it on a flash drive, but I figure I'll take you through the process. And the flash drive, um, I don't know how well that works compared to just booting it off of a uh, an actual hard drive. So I'm going to plug this in, and we're going to go ahead and do the recovery. Hey guys, so now we're going to go ahead and do the recovery. So you're going to go into the start, type in recovery create recovery drive. It's going to ask you backup system file to recovery device. Hit next. And then we wait. And we wait. All right guys, so now we just click on elements. Next. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Delete everything. I don't care. And you hit create. And now it's going to build that recovery drive. Now that it's done, we just hit uh finish. And now that's done. Uh, the next part is we disassemble the computer and put the new hard drive in. So let's go ahead and get that started. All right, guys. Here's my computer. It's a Dell XPS 8300. It's about six years old or so. Uh, take this off. You can see inside. It's a little bit dusty. Got my uh, graphics card. All fancy stuff. Uh, we're going to be putting in a SATA hard drive in here. So let me go ahead and get that out. Here we have the Samsung 860 QVO uh, VNAND SD. It's uh, going to be a big improvement as you see I have regular solid state hard drives in there. So It's quality and value. Installation guide. So you can see this is really, really tiny. I actually don't even know where I'd mount it. I guess, I guess right there. Huh. Are there any screws? No screws. All right, so I just realized I don't have enough SATA cable in here. So 
what I'm going to do is I don't use my Blu-ray player anyways. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that. And I'm going to take the power out as well. I don't need to take power out, but I'm going to. Okay. Now you can see, you can see right here, there actually is a slot for this to go. See? All loosey-goosey in there. This looks so much different. Okay, that is all connected and secured in there. Secured. Uh, I really don't think that's going to go anywhere. Anyways, don't do things the way that I do them. Um, as you can tell, I moved my setup around a little bit uh, after I installed the drive. Um, underneath, I have the two hard drives. Um, you can see my cable management isn't that great. And uh, that shelf that I built uh, is going to need to be redone. Um, so the computer can sit flush against the back there. So, uh, But that's another day. So I went through and installed the drivers or the software and uh, that is where we are at right now so let me go ahead and uh, see if we can ooh. let me go ahead and see if I can uh, get this uh, all fired up for you okay, so you can see the BIOS, those recognize it. Um, we have the two uh, old. Uh, we have the two old hard drives in there. The new Samsung, and then here you can see the WD Elements, which is the new one that we set up. So I'm gonna launch that. Missing operating system. Oh, it was supposed. To it was supposed to be the recovery drive. So, that failed. So, well, give me a minute. Alright. So, put my USB stick in. Rebooted it. Let's see what happens. Apparently, uh, external hard drive is not the way to do this. So, I had an 8 gig. I loaded it up. Alright, so here we choose English, we hit install. Install now. Now, if I'm correct, it should let us install on the new hard drive. We're gonna install on here. I have uh, several drives in here, you can see. Um, there's only one with enough free space. And that is this one here, and that should be our new Samsung driver. So we're going to install Windows to that. And I'll uh, get back to you in a minute. As always, uh, first thing I do is download Chrome. So it looks like everything went through. I'm going to go ahead and see what else I can set up and then we'll do a reboot test all right guys just gonna run some updates and uh, then we're going to go ahead and do a boot sequence oh, which one is it gonna pop up onto I think it's this one there we go
Oh, still doing it. Oh. Okay, well, even with those updates, that was quicker than uh, than anything. Jeez. Wow. That really loaded quick. Steam's updating. Oh, look at that. YouTube's already playing. Oh, nice little ad for A to C. Uh, it's a little YouTube show, so by the time you guys see this, the Game of Thrones series will be over. Alright, have fun. That's it. That's how you put in a new solid state hard drive in and then uh, boot up for, uh, to it and reinstall Windows 10 on, on that while still maintaining your other hard drive. Um, I am in the process of transferring all the files over. That's kind of boring, much like everything I normally do, but this time I'm not going to make you sit through and do it. Instead, I have another project that I want to get done, and uh, I want to get it done right away. So that'll be in the next video. And uh, I did just order some more computer parts, so small minor upgrades, always a positive thing. Uh, so make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment. Um, yeah, that's, you know, definitely let me know if there's anything that you would have done differently. Um, especially with the, the install aspect of it, uh, how asinine it was for me. Because I, I tried to install it onto a, uh, external hard drive, and obviously that is not the case. That's not uh, gonna work. You need a flash drive. Um, it just it would not recover off of that. So uh, 8 gig flash drive is what they recommend. I used it. it only use 5 gigs so 8 gigs is the way to go. Alright.